Hello and welcome back to Mayfair Prestige. I'm gonna watch some video and I'm gonna react to them. Funny, I've got a story about this car, but we'll watch a video. Oh, I like this. Yeah, I like this. Funny enough, when the Furus first came out, a lot of people might know I made a video and I didn't like the car. Maybe I didn't get it and I didn't spend enough time with the car when I made the video. Now, I love the Urus. The Urus is the best sports SUV out there. Nothing's better. I think I'm going to wow. like this, so let's carry on. The Lamborghini Urus, it launched back in 2018 and it was a bit of a controversial one, wasn't it? Despite Lamborghini having the LF... At least he said it was controversial because I was a bit controversial at the time but I've learned from the error of my ways. I've spent more time with the car, and now I appreciate and love what Lamborghini have made. Aww. Two in its back catalogue, there were some grumbles that it might be selling out producing an SUV, but now, now it's been a transformative product for this company. Nearly 40% of all Lamborghini sales are the Urus, and two months ago they made their 20,000th one of these. I like the look of this. You know what's funny about Lamborghini? I'm not a big Lamborghini fan. Let's face it, Lamborghini started at the top with the Mura and then pretty much productively went downhill. Most of the cars that they built, this is gonna be controversial. I don't care. I'm gonna say it. Lamborghini have built some dogs of cars. I mean, the Contash was a dog to drive, the Merchilago. Uh, I know the fanboys love it with the manual, it's a dog to drive. Even the Aventador, funny enough, with that single clutch gearbox, people say, yeah, but I like the kick in the back. It's drive a double clutch, and maybe you won't say that. The Hurricane is a good car, unless you're like me and over six foot and a bit big, you can't get in the car. So even though it's a good car, you gotta be like a five foot six, five foot eight, slim little Italian racing car driver, then it's perfect. So out of Lamborghini's cars, for me, the Urus is actually the only one I really, really like. I think it's absolutely perfect. Drives amazing, makes a great noise, sit up high, loads of room, big boot, seats, everything I like, luxury, foot speed, great car. And this Performante cool. looks really Urus. cool. Performante. Now, you know what that Performante badge means, don't you? Yeah. A bit more power. Power. Less weight. Less Shock weight. Steering, brakes, suspension. And you want to know the actual details, don't you? But unfortunately, I've got a brain like a sieve. So at this point, I'm going to hand over to voiceover Jack. And slathered all over the interior. Oh, Overall yeah. Like the new interior. By 47 kilograms. Torque stays at 627 pounds feet, as does the 191 mile an hour top speed. The 0 to 62 mile an hour time, though, drops from 3.6 to 3.3 seconds, thanks in part to 10% less drag. It's incredible, 3.3 seconds in a car that must weigh over two tons. Incredible. Despite overall downforce increasing by 38%. Air suspension is swapped for steel springs. The steering is recalibrated for a more direct feel, while the rear steering is now quicker to intervene. And the price for all this honing and fettling, £204,312. Sounds a lot of money, 204000 But actually, if you look at the Urus pricing, even older Uruses that are like 18, 19 haven't really dropped in value that much. So technically, if you bought one of these, it's going to be definitely over its list price, that's for sure. Because a standard Urus is selling for a lot of money when they're like new with low mileage on. So this thing's going to be selling for a whopping great price. And even if you keep it three years, you probably won't actually lose that much money on the car. Actually, at 204000 considering the last car we looked at was 560000 I mean, you could buy two of these and have a holiday on a yacht with a private jet. Think about it, 204 twice is 408. The other car was 560. You still got 144,000, 142,000 left in your pocket to go on holiday, hire a yacht, a jet, and have a great time. Okay, so let's look at the design changes that have gone on in a little bit more detail, shall we? And we start at the front of the car. So this area has been extended or lowered by a couple of inches to give it a more aggressive look at the front end. You've got like new it. intakes down here. Like this it. This is all carbon fiber. Carbon fiber like is that. gonna be like all these vents, like the, the bonnet. I think I like this car. 
a little bit of extra. I like this car. As well. Good you car. Buy one. People out there buy them the and then sell them to that me afterwards. An option. And let's go back down here to the wheels because there's quite a lot going on here. Now, these are the 22 inch five Good size. hexagon wheels. You can get 22 inch multi spoke wheels. They are the lightest version. And there's a 23 inch wheel if you want to go maximum bling bling. The tyres, so this is the first time we've had a P0 Trofeo R, a cut slick tyre effectively fitted to uh, a super SUV. That will make a big, big difference to the handling, lap time. Um, and here's a nice little feature. Like everyone needs really. a lap time from Knightsbridge to Mayfair. Just after the R. And where do they go? Oh, Knightsbridge to Mayfair. We're going to do a lap, a lap round uh, uh, Park Lane. I mean, with Trofeo R tyres. For this mm. car here. Carbon Great. ceramic brakes, of course. What do you think? I love it. I reckon. I love it. It's actually a bit more subtle than I expected it to be. But subtle is always relative when you're talking about Lamborghinis. So come and have a look at this table over here. Because this gives you a quick look at the Performante specific seats that they've got here. But what I want to show you is the colours. Now you can Yeah, but a Lamborghini should always be in a funky colour. That's one thing that Lambos need to be. There's nothing, you know, Lambos don't be, shouldn't be black or, or grey or Lambos need to be like that uh, green or a yellow or an orange. One thing I know is I like the Lamborghini Urus. I like it very much. This is a great car. I hope you like the video. We want to do like a few of these. Why don't you guys email me videos that you want me to react to? I'll put the videos on. I'll watch them. You'll get my natural, proper reaction. See you next time. Like and subscribe. Hey.